If you want to save money on food, the first place that you should head is your local ethnic market, especially if you're looking for organics. I'm going to show you on the program tonight all this food that I just bought at my favorite local ethnic establishment, and I paid just under $21, and most of it is organic. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to Frugal Friday Tips, where every Friday I give you quick, easy strategies to help you spend less and save more. I'm Hope from Under the Median. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. My husband Larry and I raised our four sons debt-free on an income which was consistently under the U.S. national average income, including paying cash for this home, when at that time our income averaged just a little under $40,000 a year. So we got really good at saving money in every area of our budget, and food was no exception. One of my favorite, favorite things to do is to visit my local ethnic food markets. I'm going to give you six reasons why I think local ethnic food markets rock and why you should absolutely visit there if saving money is on your agenda. The first reason is that your money stays right in your community. Look, the people who own these food markets, they are your neighbors. They live in the same area that you live in. They are raising their families there. And for the most part, they are heavily invested in making your neighborhood and your city a great place to live. And I am all about helping support small, locally owned businesses whenever I can. So this week, I did exactly that. Everything that is on the table in front of me, I just visited my favorite establishment, the Mediterranean Mart, and spent some time with my good friend, Saeed, who is the owner of the establishment, and I bought all of these groceries in front of me. Almost all of them are organic, and I paid just $20.96. I'm going to show you what these groceries are, tell you a little bit about what I plan to do with these groceries, and then along the way, I'm going to weave in those six reasons why I think ethnic markets are the best place that you need to visit to stretch your food budget. All right, so let's start right over here. We'll start with the tallest thing so I can get it out from in front of me. These are organic tomatoes. Look at the size of those. Now, I walked in and Saeed said, hey, I accidentally overstocked these. Would you like to buy a case of them? That is reason number one. So the first reason that I gave you why I love ethnic food markets is that you are talking to the owner of the establishment and they live right in your area. Here's the second reason why I think ethnic food markets are a great place for you to shop. Because oftentimes when you get to know that owner, he is going to offer to discount that merchandise if you buy a case lot. In this case, Saeed sold me 16 of these organic tomatoes and I paid five dollars for all 16 tomatoes. Now, if you are looking for organics, and a lot of people who watch the channel have asked me, where do you get organics and actually save some money? Ethnic food markets, that's exactly where you're going to go. Saeed had this two pound bag and it's called Autumn Glory Apples. I've never tried them, I have no idea. The kids actually already broke into this bag and they said that they are really, really good. These are organic apples and I paid $1.75 for two pounds of them and I bought four pounds. Okay, here's the next item we're gonna take a look at. One pound of these really nice, organic, small, sweet poppers. My kids eat these, I literally just put them out on a platter and they eat them whole. This entire bag was just $1.79. I also picked up an organic bigger pepper when I was in there. This of course is one of the orange peppers and this was organic and it was 99 cents. Now he also actually had some much larger, um, they were about 40% larger and they were the red peppers and they were $1.75 and now I wish I kind of gotten one of those. Here's the next reason why it's really important to visit your locally owned 
ethnic food business because you get to know the owner and you get to know his family. Now that's important for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is that they get to know you so well that they can tell about when you're out of the items that you regularly order. So for instance, Saeed knows my buying patterns. And about two months ago, I bought 50 pounds of chickpeas from him. So I guarantee you in about three months when I walk in, he's going to say, hey, um, I know it's been about five months since you ordered that 50 pounds of chickpeas and it's about time for you to order another 50 pounds. Uh, I'm getting ready to put my order in uh, from the distributor in the next week or so and I just want to know, do you want me to go ahead and order that for you so it'll be ready in time when you need it? Now that is service. The other thing that these locally owned businesses do is that they will often have regular customers try new products for them that they want to put on the shelves. In this case, I walked in and I told the owner's wife, she said, why are you here today? And I said, I'm out of tahini, which in my household is like a major emergency. I'm just saying. So I went in and I said, I'm out of tahini. And she said, well, you know what? We have this brand new product. We're trying it out. So we're asking uh, like our customers if they'll go ahead and purchase um, one of these containers and take it home and just let us know how you like it. Because we're trying to decide if we want to keep buying it and putting it on the shelf. This is roasted tahini. So actually, the sesame seeds were roasted. They were dry roasted, no oil added, and then ground to make the tahini. And she said there's no oil in it because she knows I don't eat eat any added oils. So I got this entire container for just $7.50. Here's the other thing that's really important to note. Oftentimes, they will have items that they've either overstocked or they're getting close to the sell-by date. Now, these are markdowns, just exactly like you would see in a traditional grocery store. In this case, this was marked down almost 75%. I'm going to turn it around so you can see. The regular price of it, was $2.59. They were sitting toward the checkout counter and the owner's wife told me, she said, hey, those are on special right now for 99 cents. Now I had never ever tried these. And this is where the other reason comes in why it's really important to form that relationship with the owner and his family. She knows me really, really well. And she said, I'll tell you what you do. She told me exactly how to prepare it. She told me what to add to it. And then she said, now, since you're vegan, here's exactly what you're going to do. She even knew and remembered that I was vegan. So I bought two of them. And let me tell you, I am going back to see if they have more of them still left on the shelf because this was the most amazing food product that I've tried in a long time. Tell me in the comments, have you ever tried this? It's called Maftul Pasta. And it's an awful lot like Israeli couscous. So you kind of know, if you know couscous, that's the flavor that it is. It was absolutely scrumptious. I cooked it up in just a little bit of broth and then added some vegetables, made myself some flatbread, and that's what we had for supper. And I estimate that that supper cost our family $4 and that food lasted for two meals. So that means each meal for the family was just two dollars. Everybody liked it. <laughs> reason number five that you might want to try a specialty food market. That reason is that you can often ask the owner, hey, I heard about this specific food. Let me know what your opinion is of it. And do you think I should try it? And can you get it for me? Saeed has gone to great lengths, not only to find products that I'm interested in trying, but to make sure that he gets them at the best price possible for me. And the sixth and final reason that you should visit your local ethnic food market is that, as we can see, specialty and organic foods are often priced far less than they are in the traditional grocery stores. So hey, tell me in the comments section, do you shop local ethnic food markets? If you do, what do you buy there? And has it been a wonderful experience for you? Because boy, it sure has for me. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to join me next week for the next Frugal Friday Tips.